Hey folks, welcome to another episode of my blog of creating my Star Wars room. Um, yeah, I think this is number eight. It's been a couple of weeks. It's been busy. Um, you've got some shelving happening, got some figures out. I've literally just gone through and sort of pretty much set up most of the movie figures. Um, I'm already at that stage where <laughs> my collection is... Uh, you know, I just every time I walk into a room, and other figures fall on over. But that's that's part of the joy of um, having this all set up again. Um, uh, yeah, next step is black series. I need to do get some more shelving. Um, so I'm just going to give you a look around because I have just gone and given it a really good sort of tidy up in here. Um, got some tubs out of the way. I actually made some floor space so I can get a vacuum cleaner in here and start cleaning up. I will do a sweep first um, just in case there's any weapons accessories for my figures that are that's ended up on the floor. Sometimes that can happen. Um, so the biggest change I guess is I took out the big shelving unit um, that was on this wall. Um, I did make room so I can have the door open. It does get a bit stuffy in here. Um, I did get let me zoom out a little bit more. There we go. I did have a half sort of shelf there I replaced that I got another shelf that one was I think 35 or 40 bucks I think I paid for another another you know full-size Billy bookcase so I now have five along that entire wall um, ideally I'd love to get um, what is now the equivalent of a detail for my one six scales um, so I'd love to get a hold of a couple of them um, and put them somewhere in the room at some stage um, but yeah this this sort of shelf down here I fit in that was the one that was in front of the door I decided to move it slotted in here my chair sort of moved over once I get everything else set up on that wall this chair I'll make sure the chair um, my recline chair is sort of interchangeable sort of throughout the room which is sort of ideal ideally the way I want to go whether it's in the middle um, potentially have a TV sort of wall mounted up on the wall there above my desk where I do my reviews. Um, I'm not sure yet. I haven't haven't quite decided where I'm going to go. But uh, in order to be able to move that couch out, there is a small air conditioning unit within the window behind there. So on those warmer days coming into summer, I will be able to open that up and um, let some cool air come through with the air conditioning unit. So, so what I've done here is... You know, this is sort of just sort of anonymous, random figures sort of stuff. I've got retros up there, uh, my three sort of Tamashi Nations ones. Vintage, vintage, vintage. A couple of shelves of Power of the Force. Expanded universe, of course, with the chair out of the way, these things will be able to be seen a whole lot better. Um, and yeah, just starting to get bits and pieces where they need to be. But yeah, this side here is definitely the uh, the biggest the biggest thing that's happened. Um, my one thing now is I've still got Clone Wars. Um, all my Clone Wars figures are, I think, in this one. So yeah, that's that's all animated Clone Wars. So I'm in the process of trying to find a separate shelf for those. Not sure how I'm going to do that yet. Um, I was going to include them within the, within the theatrical stuff, um, but just the way it's sort of planned out as I got through it, um, having to move shelves and stuff, um, I decided just to keep this to the cinematic films. It's sort of a little bit unfortunate that all the sequel stuff is sort of crammed onto one shelf there, but um, given that they didn't really give Rise of Skywalker much love, um, it all sort of fits in there well once it's lit up because I do plan on getting like strip lighting to go sort of behind and I can run wiring throughout so each each shelf each bay will have its own lighting set up so I'm excited about that but yeah just I've been doing a few shorts on YouTube just to uh, sort of show the progress of setting up each of these shelves so I thought I'd give you a bit of a run through today just to see how things are going. So they sort of do bleed into each other a little bit. There's, you know, there's obviously the cutoff point between episode one and two. And they do still just have like a few random extra figures like Luminara. I've got this 
uh, Anakin's. I'm sort of picking figures out that I've had sort of mixed in with recent purchases that need to go in with the displays. Attack of the Clones. There's the uh, Geonosis Arena, which will be fantastic once I get that strip lighting in there, like I said. Just to light that all up properly it would be really, really cool. Attack of the Clones into Revenge of the Sith. It's my recent rebuild Darth Vader playset, which is really, really cool. Again, just got some web accessories and figures sort of still sitting around on each shelf, just as I sort of readjust and you know rejig, getting all the figures out. So there we got sort of Solo Rogue One into a New Hope. Um, so I've got Kenobi, the three Kenobi figures there. I do have a couple, I do have Cal Kestis in there. You can't really, see, it's a bit dark. I'm not sure if the camera's picking it up all that well, but again, lighting will be definitely the uh, next step here. The cantina in the back. See if, if I put it in there, the light will adjust. No, I don't think so. But that's okay, you get the point. And then down to Empire Strikes Back. Squash the uh, power of the force 80 80 in there. Just I don't know, it kind of works. It's just sort of filled the space up. It's the uh, and then into Return of the Jedi and a bit more Return of the Jedi, obviously, with the sail barge, Java's Palace, bags of cable ties, um, all sort of Mandalorian era stuff here, too. So I've got some. So you got some Book of Boba Fett stuff in there. All Mandalorian. Bit of a soaker, obviously, because the soaker's really the only figure out so far. Cad Bane's in there. Um, so that'll all sort of be that era. Um, that will probably expand as it gets sort of fleshed out a little bit more. And the sequels, and then um, you know, down the bottom is all just gonna be storage. Um, obviously just got it all in sort of small tubs. These tubs here are a little bit too tall, so I would get would like to get some nicer just slide under tubs, just nice and easy, just for storage. You know, I've got accessories, bins, and um, paints and bits and pieces for customizing and stuff that I uh, haven't touched for a while. But uh, it's it would be nice to have it all organized. Uh, the top here, I'm still unsure about what I'm going to do here. But like probably this, the big slave one. I was thinking about setting up my Clone Wars figures up on the top, but these are 1.8 meters high. I'm about 1.87. So they're about six foot, I'm six foot two. Um, so, you know, it's kind of at eye level. We won't be able to display them very well. So I'm gonna, I don't know. I'm not sure how I'm gonna, how I'm gonna continue with the Clone Wars. Um, I'll work it out. Definitely, for sure. No doubt about it, I'll get it sorted and get something figured out. Um, I do have a couple of ideas in mind. We're just gonna see how that things go there. But yeah, it's, it's turning into a nice space. So that wall there will end up with probably something similar to one of these. Um, maybe a bit taller. Cause you can get 20, 20 90 high millimeters um so two meters 99 centimeters so that will, will go a little bit probably up to the height of the door frame there and across probably about there i'd reckon so that'll give me plenty of room for black series and across the top like across the top of that shelf unit i'll have my helmets so i've got 332nd mandalorian kylo ren vader and any others that I sort of pick up. And then sort of being able to display some of the uh, box items as well. So my Boba Fett sort of collections come over here onto a couple of shelves. Um, with the Black Series shelf, I will get another couple of these pegboards on either side. Cause I do have some uh, boxed Black Series that I like to display and some more vintage stuff as well. So. Everything will sort of get its place. Um, we're working on it. It's, it's been good. It's been a good couple of weeks. Again, it's sort of been really busy, just sort of, you know, a couple of hours here and there, every, most nights, just sort of coming in here, setting up figures, sorting them all out. Um, it's been, 
it's been fun it's been tiring but um yeah i'm just need to ch i'm gonna chill out for a couple of weeks now and um yeah prepare for being able to go pick up some shelving for for the for over on that wall and um Yeah, just trying to keep keep up with some reviews and bits and pieces. I will actually go and show you what I did because I, uh, you know, as I as I said, I got rid of the big shelving unit that I had in there, which was essentially sort of cubes around a TV unit. If you saw in my previous videos, um, and I did have all my DC McFarlane figures down down the bottom so i wanted to show them off a little bit so i will actually take you into the other room in a moment and show you what i've done there um a few other figures need to go in there like my indies indiana jones but uh yeah let's go take a look at my uh dc batman stuff and other yeah dc stuff mainly batman <laughs> all right folks here i am in the other spare room where i've just moved this cabinet into and uh Sort of displayed all my McFarlane stuff up and around. Um, one little side hobby I've sort of had when I when I can is picking up Harry Potter Lego. Um, I haven't got too much yet. Um, it's always a work in progress, but I'm having some fun with some of those sets. But yeah, in terms of the McFarlane stuff, I do have my Witcher Witcher stuff. I'll just quickly go through these shelves because I probably won't show them off too often. The Dark Knight trilogy figures, which I recently completed. That wave, that's awesome. I'd love to see more. So a few from the games, three Jokers comic book, and a couple extra Jokers there. I know that one's not McFarlane, but it's still cool. Some DCU stuff, other heroes. The Batman cat. Then up here I've got all my other Batmans, which, which I do love. Being able to display all these like this. Sort of taking a look at them, probably my top three. I'm gonna say Dark Knight Returns, uh, probably Nightfall and Flashpoint and Thomas Wayne. They're probably my, they're probably my top three. Probably interchangeable at any time, but at the moment, those two, those three are probably my top. But I, yeah, I am stoked with these, these Dark Knight trilogy figures at the moment. They're really good. But yeah, definitely no, by, by no means have I've completed them, but um, yeah, there's always going to be Batmans to get. So that's that's a little fun side side little collection that I have. All right, back to Star Wars. So yeah, that's that's pretty much my update for this this episode, guys. I hope you've enjoyed taking a look around. It's been nice. It's, I'm really getting a good feeling about this uh, about this room. I hope everyone else is keeping well. I hope you're all enjoying Ahsoka as well. There's some cool stuff coming out for that in terms of figures and and collectibles and stuff like that. Good, some good black series, some good vintage stuff. Um, pretty excited about it. I do have some more reviews to do this week. Um, probably not as many as I have been in recent weeks, but um, yeah, it's you know a little bit of a lull, waiting for some new stuff to come in. Um, did get some cool new figures last week. If you haven't checked out those reviews, they're actually doing pretty well. So, I mean, spoiled the last couple of weeks for new figures. So um, yeah, just gonna have to hang out and be good for a couple of weeks and uh, try and get some shelving happening in here i'm looking forward to doing that so um yeah hope you again hope you're all doing doing really really well and uh i appreciate you all tuning in and uh yeah we'll see you all very very soon may the force be with you always